This is Girl Julie Jam, and I made a couple things last night with um, all the different new molds to show you guys. So I'm here to unmold them with you today. So here's the flowers. I'm trying to do kind of like a two tone flower. It's pretty. That flower, it comes out really nice. And it's so detailed. These are really nice soap embeds. Nice. I'm going to give you guys a close up of this one. Now let's see this. And like I said, it does, it does have a little matte finish. You can still see through it kind of clear. Of course, I had to cut that. And I'm going to make it shiny. That's one. Gonna be keychains, and you're not, they're not, it's not showing you my camera. The prettiness of it, all the pretty colors, it's like really pretty. And I showed you guys how to make them all the same size. You gotta make a mark, of course. I got rid of the mark, put a ruler in there, um, and make a mark or make a mark on a stick. And then you put it down in there. And then wherever the mark is, that's where you mark it off on here. And you go here and mark it off. So if you guys want to see how I do that, I've made a video before. And like I showed you guys, whenever um, you open, do your unmold your molds and you see this white part, unfortunately, they won't last forever. So that's a bummer. Moving on. Okay, so I made some hearts. Now, you see what I'm saying? You don't see the white part in here. So this mold can last you forever, which is that's nice. Oh my goodness, I love that. And yes, it is matted because it's the matted side. And that's the shiny side. It came out beautifully. And these are my dollar store stickers. Well, no, I got these from, um, these are the ones I got from Michael's. But these are dollar store stickers. This and Nemo are my dollar store stickers. They came out pretty nice. These are dollar store stickers too. I'm gonna have to make a dollar store haul and all the stuff I got from the dollar store. And I'm gonna make these things shiny. Yeah, I like that. See there, there's no white. gonna last for like ever I'm definitely gonna have to color this you guys I'm gonna put the clear coat this one I tried to see if I can add everything in and how it would look it doesn't look too bad it looked dimensional but I'm gonna have to color that I mean put the 
a clear coat on that to make it come out so you guys can see it really good. And of course, you know, I had to do, make a mold of this. So let's get started. Oh, that came out really nice. Really nice. And it has a shine to it already. And you know these things are really deep that you can make them in different colors. Like do the layered colors, but I didn't do that. I was just doing a little coloring. It's so cute. This is a nice, thick, sturdy mold. You know, that's probably going to last forever. I mean, I'll be doing more in detail pieces. But for now, I just want to show you guys how they come out beautifully. Look at that cake, the detail. Strawberry. Lollipop. I really wanted to do this one because I'm going to put um, my glare in there to make it look like it's a mirror for one of my bell pieces. So I can't wait to do that. What's it called? The detail on these things are sick. Beautifully sick. Purse. The skull and bone, which is for the the monsters dolls. It had a little bow on it. The cherries. Oh, look at the deer! I'm so crazy, guys. It's super early for me. But yeah, I hope everybody had a good Christmas. Um, yeah, my husband came in town and I got my other kids and we all had a great Christmas. That's why I didn't video anything. So sorry, you guys. I wanted to 